Howdy ho and welcome to Rodas Review Time! This time we have a new album coming out. This is actually, the release date is today, 15th of June 2020, or at least that's what's been told to me, but during these Covid times you never know what the actual release date is for the physical product. But that's exactly what we have here in my hands, been actually having this a uh, few days, maybe even more than that. This one is called Oroskau. I don't know how to pronounce it, given that this is done with these accents, but let's just call it Oroskau. And this, as you can see, is Imperium Templum Aries. Sounds very, very bombastic, very Greek-like, godly thing. Now, when I was filming this, actually on Friday, preceding the um, release date, there is no metal archive site for this band yet, even though I tried to add it. Let's just hope it goes through. Released by Epictural Production from France. This one is a curious case because um, it's not your typical extreme metal case. First of all, it is extreme metal indeed, but it's not purely black metal, it's not purely dead metal, but it's kind of a combination of those. And uh, more the focus being on the kind of a modern third wave black metal style. So this is how the booklet looks like. All the track titles are pretty interesting. and <laughs> I'm holding this in the wrong way. Pardon for that. Either my head is really, really confused, blame the headache, or then this uh, booklet is even more confusing than usual. Doesn't matter which way I show this to you, it's not gonna make so much sense, you know. Everything here is uh, very, very mystique here with these weirdos, letters and uh, random names. So anyway, you get the idea when I'm browsing this to you with some more proper lettering. These are probably too small a font to be read by people with normal pair of eyes. Anyway, very, very fascinating when by the looks and the names and that, stuff like that. Not your typical throne of evil or something like that, which is something that you probably end up Googling and finding out it's either a band or an album or both at the same time. So um, this combination of uh, kind of a modern dissonant black metal and kind of a blackish, very dark and death metal it's a curious thing because if I were to uh, rate this album based on just, you know, plain and all based on how dark and sinister the album is, I would be praising this from the ground to the heavens and saying this must be album of the year contender. However, that's not the case when I actually focus on the uh, thoughts and the feelings and uh, individual riffs and songs because the songwriting isn't too shabby, to be honest. And it's kind of disappointing because, like I said, I like the atmosphere. It's very, very oppressive. It's like this kind of a darkness, the mass of dark clouds coming all over and giving this kind of a desperate feeling. So it's a great thing. But when taking a look, or rather listen to these individual riffs, it's mostly just too mediocre most of the time. I mean, I kind of get the idea where the band is trying to go and what kind of uh, message they're kind of uh, trying to deliver. Or at least I have the vague feeling about it. But it doesn't really convince me too much. Maybe because I have this trouble enjoying kind of this dissonant type of black metal ones. Mostly because it seems like they're layer after layer of these riffs and uh, guitar patterns, guitar leads, which are there to just kind of make this chaotic feeling, this kind of a... Uh, well, dissonance. I don't know if there's a better word for that. And this, all this chaos is like, yeah, it sounds so brilliant on the terms of atmosphere. But with the actual riffs that get me going, the ones that start pumping blood in my vampiric veins and all that stuff, I'm like, this is not giving me the kind of a proper creeps. This is just like, yeah, it's dark, it's oppressive and all that stuff. But I mean, I've been there a million times before, with so much more better death metal albums and black metal albums. So why this one would really convince me, it's like, wow. And it's not. 
While those Corolla vocals are quite okay, they are nothing to compare to proper death metal bands. And there are no kind of a scream vocals which are there to be, you know, sound like a, some mad beast or inhuman creature of sorts from the darkness. So everything here is like work in progress. They basically have all the ideas. It's like as if you're doing some meal in your kitchen. You have your good ingredients, veggies, meat, whatever you want to cook. And then you kind of a fail in that way that it doesn't really taste good. You know, it's healthy. It gives me the proper nutrition and all that stuff. And you're like, yeah, but this doesn't really taste that good. So why you know everything in theory is just great. In practice, it's like a little bit lukewarm. Now, the curious thing here is that there is a Pink Floyd cover ending the whole album. And I think that's the best track on this one, because that's actually where the band kind of shines a little bit more. So it's kind of a bad news for the fan of the band, you know, that the cover track is the best track of the album. It's not bad by no means, it's, it's actually quite promising, but it really doesn't deliver everything that I hope it to deliver. But anyway, take a look at the band's Bandcamp site and you will find whether or not this is your cup of tea. An interesting release, nevertheless, even if not really good one, what it does. Thank you for watching, take care and I hope you enjoy this one.